What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. You're watching MC Car Kid and today we're back to being homeless after winning the lottery yesterday. We still have our cheap Suzuki. We have some fly clothing now, but today we're going to be upgrading this Suzuki. We're going to be buying a golf cart. Now, you guys know golf carts, they aren't street legal. And honestly, I don't know if you can make them street legal in real life, but we're going to head over to the dealer, we're going to buy the golf cart, and we're going to head over to Allen Insurance so that we can get that insured for the road, or registered for the road, really. And we may have, some, we may be buying something else, too. We're not going to be buying a house today, so we're going to be homeless for about three days before we can get a house. Three more days, I should say. Um, we just haven't been able to rack up enough money. Ignore the $1.3 million in the corner. We just haven't been able to get a good job and make enough money to buy a nice car, buy a house. So we're just living in a car. Technically, it's not homeless, but we're living in a car. So you could say that we're homeless because we're living in our car. But, um, yeah. I treat this thing like awful. Awfully. Awful? I cheat this thing terribly. Whatever. Either way. So, when we get a new car, it's probably going to be treated terribly, too. I don't really try to drive, right? I've gotten a few tickets on this that I... in That I was so far into debt that it wasn't even worth paying it off. Because of how many tickets I've gotten from speeding. This thing is pretty fast, even though it's a little car. That, a cheap little car. Because this thing can't tow a trailer, or tow the golf cart, we're gonna take the back roads over to Allen so that we don't get pulled over. Even though this time we can actually afford tickets finally, but we don't want to waste that money on um, tickets, and then that'll be more points on our license. And yeah, enough to probably lose my license because I'm already at 10 points. Don't ask. Yeah, let's walk into here. The golf cart, if you guys were wondering, it's in the other section, of course. Ooh. He has a nice outfit. I'm not just saying that because, yeah, I think he looks good. I'm saying that because I like, I like taking influence off of other people's outfits. That's all I'm going to say. But the 2013 Yamaha G29 Drive is the golf cart that we're going to be buying today. We're going to get it in black. No. Let's get it in red to match this Suzuki. $9,000. There we go. Not bad. Um, let's just buy it again. You know, because you might as well just try and buy it twice. We could drive that, the Suzuki over, but we're not going to do that. We're going to drive over this golf cart. And the worst time to buy a golf cart is when it's raining, because now I'm going to destroy it before I've even driven it five miles so yeah let's ruin the cloth seats by driving it in the rain and ruin our clothing our new supreme fanny pack so we're gonna take the back roads and its top speed is 40 so it's gonna take a little while to get there but we're gonna get there eventually and I'll catch you guys when I do get there Okay, so we're almost over at Allen Insurance, and um, I almost destroyed this thing before we've even driven five miles, because I decided to go off-road a little bit as a shortcut, and I almost hit a tree, and I almost hit a fire station. But we're here at an Allen, and this thing is very slow. Surprisingly, it has turn signals and hazards and stuff. I'm surprised. But let's, it has no storage whatsoever. It does for maybe golf clubs, because it is a golf cart. But yeah, let's head inside. Um, 
Does anybody work here? Yeah, I don't think anybody works here. So we may be driving um an unregistered golf cart, even though it does have license plates. Technically. Technically it's legal if it has road license plates. That's a nice C8 Corvette there. Almost matching the color of our golf cart. Almost. Definitely sounds better than ours. And the horn is pretty ridiculous. So, we might... We're gonna drive this thing around for a little while. And we might be picking up a new car to replace that Suzuki that I treat like trash. Of course, it'll be a used car. It's not gonna be a brand new car, technically. Let's follow this Gallardo. Go! Go, buddy! Stupid. <laughs> it's a yield sign. Ugh, I can't- I can't drive just like he can't drive. He probably doesn't even care that it's a yield sign. But let me turn... Oh, I was gonna sell him to turn my bike down, but it's already down far enough. <gasps> What's over here? A new admin house? Let's check this house out. Go, turn, turn, turn! Stupid. Can't turn. I'm not gonna go into, um,. I'm not going to go into this house because I don't want to get kicked from the game. You can't even. But it's property of Dan's Wild. Yeah, you can't even get in there. The house looks pretty sick. Oh, yeah. The fences and everything are too high to jump over. But, yeah, we got Dan's Wild new... Dan's wild new admin house. Dan's wild. Dan has a new wild admin house. I'm sorry. Let, but honestly, this thing drives pretty well. For the price of it, 9,000. It wouldn't be a good starter car because it only goes 40 miles per hour. And you start with 5 grand. But driving it now, it's pretty nice. But I'd like a more practical car other than the Suzuki. We're still going to keep it, but I want a different car to replace, almost replace the Suzuki. And um, we can't really live in this thing either. It'll be a little bit hard to get comfortable and stay safe at night. No, Tesla. Good thing I don't have insurance. I think I don't have insurance on this thing. If you can tell I'm being sarcastic. I don't, good thing I don't have insurance on this thing because now I have to pay to get it fixed. It still drives fine though. Eh. I don't want to go to college. Yeah, we're not going to college. So we could just close the chat. If this thing went more than 40 miles per hour, 41 miles per hour, really, it would really help. We could get a lawnmower, though, to drive on the road. <laughs> that thing only goes 5 miles an hour. That would be so terrible. We would have still been at Allen because it would have been going so slow. Let's try and get this green light. Is come on faster okay we just ran around like a golf cart and just remember if we get pulled over we can get this thing impounded <laughs> because we have no insurance on it so let's try not to get pulled over switch lanes here and i'm looking for a cheap car next 
Um, I don't really want to spend over $10,000 on my next car. But I do want a SUV or a pickup truck so that's more practical than a golf cart or a little hatchback Suzuki. Definitely, that accident was terrible. <laughs> and I almost got hit again. Definitely nothing. Definitely no sedans or no cheap coupes. Because that's not, that's even less practical than a hatchback. But, um, nothing more than I'd say 10 or, let's say 15 grand is our budget. Because I know we can get a decent car for a decent amount of money in this game. You can get a decent car. And then we can go back to the apartments that we don't own and be homeless again. Even though we have a nice golf cart. Actually matches the Porsche. Not bad. And I know we just won the lottery and I'm not spending any of the money. Or a lot of the money. That's because I really don't want to spend all the money at once. So we're going to look in the SUVs first. For 15000 I can get a 2007 GMC Acadia. We can get a 2004 Range Rover Sport. Keep that on our list. Let's look at trucks. A 1999 Dodge Ram 2500, 2004F150. I think I'm gonna go with the Range Rover just that we have some kind of style. And we're gonna have it in red again so that all of our cars are red now. But yeah, let's drive this thing over to the apartments that we don't own. And I think I'll wrap the video up there. And, um, I'm not gonna spoil what the next video is yet because, um, I feel like some people don't like it when I spoil what the video is beforehand. So I'm not gonna do that. This thing is honestly pretty nice and it gives us some sort of style for 8,000. Doesn't, it doesn't make us look like we have a whole lot of money, but. And I think black might look better, but it's a, uh, I remember in this game when this thing used to be $80,000 and nobody would ever buy it because who wants to spend $80,000 on a 2004 Range Rover that you can't control? And I remember I did buy this thing used, I think, unless I just got, I tried to buy it new unless I got ripped off and it's used. It smells new. And it just was never sold back in 2004. But, um, it might be used. Because it drives okay. But yeah, it's a it's our new car to replace. I'd honestly replace the Suzuki with this. Because now we have three cars, and I don't need three cars. Technically, one isn't even a car, it's a, um, golf cart. But, um, let's try to get by, let's try to stay on the road the next time we drive this car. But, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, I hope you guys are enjoying this series. If you are, please give the video a big thumbs up. Like the video, I know thumbs up and like are both the same, but... I didn't know what else to say. Please give the video a like. Um, we're doing pretty good now. We're getting somewhere. And next video is going to be a big, big purchase video. We're going to be buying um, something really big. But just remember, we have $1.3 million, I'd say, right now to spend on the next big thing we're going to get. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button. Please consider subscribing. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.